So first we'll talk about repeaters. And I'll comment, this is a very, very simple layer one device. Layer one being the physical media. And it does kind of four things. First, it receives signal into a port. It interprets the signal's data, so it basically reads the zeros and ones. It then regenerates a new, clean, strong signal out the other side and transmits the signal to the other port. Because a lot of very simple, very early, or common, really, repeaters were just two ports, in and out. And they were used to extend the cable itself. Because there was an issue called attenuation. And that's basically, as you send a signal down a wire, it degrades immediately. It starts, it starts falling off, and there's a point where it no longer is understandable at the other side. So rather than trying to make sure everything was really close together, which isn't always possible if you have a lot of buildings spread apart, maybe a campus network, maybe a school, something like that, I said, oh, we'll put this device called a repeater in there. It will do a retransmission to beat attenuation and extends the, the cable range limitations so that you can pretty much go as far as you want as long as you have a bunch of repeaters. So if you think about it, there's really three things you need to know about a repeater. It's a layer one device. It doesn't do anything to the data. It doesn't really read the data. It doesn't understand the data. It just knows, okay, here's a zero on one end. I will then clean up the signal and put another zero out the other end. It's a single broadcast domain. We'll go into that much deeper in later lessons, but just suffice to say that if we send data or make a broadcast on one side, it's going to come out the other side. There's no separation of my broadcast traffic. It is also a single collision domain, which basically means you can't have more than one person talking at a time. It's a shared media, and that uses CSMA slash CD, which you may be thinking, wow, that's a, that's a fancy acronym. What does that mean? So that's the carrier sense multiple access with collision detection. And I challenge you to say that even five times fast. And this was the way to handle traffic collisions. It doesn't avoid necessarily traffic collisions. You got to assume back in the day, you know, oh, I'm on my rocker again. Collisions just happened. Traffic collided with one another because all the media was shared. There was no dedicated switch port. So on a repeater, if both sides tried to transmit at the same time, they would blow up and, and hit each other and they would have to fix that. So how do we handle a collision? Well, CSMACD was the way to handle that. It made sure that basically in the environment we were running at half duplex, which means you can send or receive at a given time and not both. Because obviously you can't send it receive at the same time because that would mean that you are both talking and someone else is talking. So it's impossible. You only do one at a time. And what CSMACD does kind of at the, at the ground level is if there is a collision and it's detected, the both devices would stop. They would say, okay, I'm talking, someone else is talking, this is not good because the, the signal is going to be garbage. It's basically going to jumble it all up and become worthless. So there's no sense to try to transmit. A jam signal is sent and everyone basically says, shut up, stop talking, everyone quiet. So the, the device gets quiet for a moment and each device kind of rolls the dice and says, I'm going to wait this many milliseconds or microseconds and then I'm going to try transmitting it again. And the reason for that is if you jam everyone and everyone rolls the dice and everyone comes up with a different number, ultimately someone's going to be the first to transmit and the others will have to continue to wait. And that may sound kind of archaic, but it really did work because if you think about it, in the early days of networking, we, did, we didn't have to send a lot of traffic. There may be a frequent amount of, of small bits of traffic, but we weren't really sending a lot of video traffic. YouTube wasn't around. It was it was very minor amounts of traffic. It was kilobytes of traffic or even just bytes of traffic. And so CSMA CD worked great. 